before football's first reception, before baseball's first home run, before hockey's first slap shot, there was lacrosse, an older brother to all. We know it involves wearing strange equipment and handling a stick, but what is lacrosse? Cross is the, f the fastest growing sport in the nation. Kind of a combination of, of soccer, basketball, it's a field game that play plays on a football sized field. Uh, girls have uh, sticks and the object is to move the ball up and down the field and put in a goal. I just like that it's always moving, it's a high intensity sport. We usually define it as a running game. We used to ask the girls, how do you spell across? And it was, are you in? Because it's basically what they're going to do. So where did this sport originate? And was it always played with the sophistication and etiquette we see today? It's a Native American game is where it originated. So it's the oldest game in the country. I know the Native Americans used to play to uh, prepare for war. War, healing, religion, vitality. It was known as the creator's game. The first official documentation was made by the French Jesuit missionary Jean de Brébeuf in 1636. Some believe the term lacrosse was named after the French term crosse because the stick resembled the shepherd's crozier carried by bishops. More commonly accepted, however, is the belief that the term is simply coined by the phrase jeu de la crosse, the game of the stick. They didn't have boundaries. They didn't have many rules. They, it, the game actually went on for days. In 1876, a Canadian dentist by the name of William George Beers finalized a set of guidelines for the game, which generated the evolution of the standardized rules that we know today. The women's game really developed in, in Europe 50 or 60 years ago. It was a much more defined game than it was. Lance Cruz North has had a program since uh, 1976. We were the first in the state. In my eyes, it is the greatest team sport because you, you can't play lacrosse without teamwork. You can't do it. When they lose, they lose together. When they win, they win together. And um, they're, they're, a pretty tight, they're a pretty tight group. Most of the rules in girls lacrosse are designed around safety. The only equipment they wear are mouthpieces and eye goggles. There's, there's 10 players on the field at all time. Three attackmen, three midfielders, three defensemen, and a goalie. Defense, keep the attackers away from the net. Goalie, stop the ball. Attackmen, score the goals. Same thing as midfielders. Midfielders, the warriors of the game. The women's game became more of a finesse game, where the men's game is more, you know, hitting and uh, more physical game. So a big part of the game was contact, stick checks, body checks. A lot of penalties too come with that. They hit, we don't. It's a, it's a boys game. Is <laughs> they have a bigger ball. stick, they have a deeper stick, and we have They're... a very shallow stick. We always tell them that, you know, they don't know how to catch a throw. <laughs> Baltimore area where our kids grew up, um, lacrosse is king, and, and in fact the U.S. Lacrosse National Headquarters is in Baltimore. Out there, lacrosse is bigger than soccer, baseball, those teams are very few and far between. Lacrosse is really, it's, it's everything. Little two-year-olds are walking around with sticks. So all their friends were playing lacrosse, so they wanted to play lacrosse, and then we started hanging around the fields, and like any other parent that hangs around a field, they, uh, they start at, the coaches start asking if you want to help and chase balls and <laughs> run them through drills and we just kept doing it and eventually um, you know, our interest level got to the point where we started to help coach. The most satisfying thing that I get from women's lacrosse is being able to help a, uh, an athlete learn something new. To watch him walk a little taller, be a little prouder, um, there's just nothing better. It's kind of like Christmas every day. 16 and 3 is the best record our school's ever had, so to be a part of that team is pretty inspirational. We've had the opportunity here to have a heck of a lot of fun because, because it's growing so fast across the state, across Oakland County, and, and here in Lake Orion, so it's, uh, it's been a heck of a lot of fun. Lacrosse is one of the fastest growing team sports in the United States. Youth participation in the sport has grown over 138% since 2001 to nearly 300,000. No sport has grown faster at the high school level over the last 10 years, and there are now an estimated 228,000 high school players and over 1,400 high school teams in the U.S.